Hello guys, it's your boy Mo Vibes. Today, we're gonna be reacting to some more BTS. Uh, we're gonna be reacting to some of their older stuff. Like I said, I need to still catch up on some of their older music, but this one is called Dope. It dropped this one 2015, so this is like seven years old. Like I said, if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys subscribe. I'll be posting a lot of BTS content, reactions, vlogs, skits, all that. When it comes specifically to BTS content, I like starting off with like the older stuff and I'm working my way up to their newer stuff, just so I can get a better feel for them. People recommended me certain interviews and ciphers to react to so if there's anything you guys want to recommend drop in the comments below i'm always looking and yeah let's get right into it <laughs> One thing I'll say is they their choreography is fucking ill, yo. Like they synchronize so well. And I'm pretty sure this took a lot of takes to do just so everyone can sync in so well. And so many just hours of practice to get everyone to sync in like at the same time. Props to them for real, for real. I definitely noticed they definitely enjoy the EDM sound. One thing I like about Suga is that, you know, he can rap his ass off. That's for sure. Even though, obviously, you know, only thing I understand is the lyrics, like, that I'm reading. <laughs> his cadence is really good. He has good bravado. Like, for someone who's pretty quiet and reserved, he has a lot of aggression. So, he definitely stands out. <laughs> They some city boys. They're like, just like the other guys. While y'all were partying, I was working every day. They talking they shit right now. said i reject rejection basically like y'all can't get rid of me fuck cancel culture in the sense obviously this was before cancel culture was even a term but like it's kind of like in a sense like that like fuck cancel culture I, we gonna cancel cancel culture <laughs> Mm. I mean, I don't know when they made this song, if there's a time when they're, you know, because I know that reading into them a little bit, they're facing a lot of like people trying to cancel them and discrimination, things like that. I kind of feel like that's what they're kind of, in a sense, talking about. <laughs> Oh. 
This would have gone crazy on TikTok if TikTok was a thing in 2015. <laughs> Especially with this dance move, people would have ate this up, yo. That transition is so good, bro. Whoever, producer, production, engineer wise, bro, y'all did y'all thing on this one for real. Cause just the dun 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 dun, like. And I'll definitely say their dancing makes the videos super entertaining, for sure. I don't know about y'all, but like, even though I'm listening, of course, sometimes I get so like lost in the way they're dancing that I'm not even like fully paying attention to the songs. I'm like, damn, these boys can dance. <laughs> that was fire though. Honestly, that out of all the songs that I've so far heard from BTS, this is probably one of my favorites too. So it was really good. Like it had hip hop, pop, a lot of EDM. It was just very eccentric. It was dope, for real, for real. And yeah, everybody did their thing on that one too. Like Jungkook, he had the vocals on that one. RM, he broke it, like he transitioned it well. Suga had some nice bars and his aggression and tone was good. Like, yeah, they definitely did their thing on that one. For sure, for sure. But yeah, guys, like I said, I'm be reacting a lot more BTS, a lot more other type videos. So if you guys are new to this channel, make sure you guys... Oh, oh. <laughs> Make sure you guys subscribe. Appreciate everybody's been subscribing, engaging, commenting, hating, contemplating, all that. <laughs> but now, nah, y'all, I'm gonna wrap this video up here and I'll catch y'all on the next one. So, be easy.